What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing another Legacy Cube Draft, and we are 1,000% taking Oko no Joko. If I look a little more disheveled than normal, it's because me and Mike were just moving stuff for the past couple hours after picking up a second U-Haul. This week is the week we're actually moving everything over to the over to the house. So this might be the last stream from this location. I mean, it will. Should I fly out to help you move? I'm literally considering it. I'm like, you know, maybe. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> uh, good times. But yeah, we took Noko. That's pretty cool. I want to move my seat up a little bit. Watson is literally right beneath my, my chair wheel, so I'm going to scoot him up just a little bit. Okay. I didn't want to crush my little buddy. Ooh, Oko into Fallen Shinobi. I mean, this is the this is the closest to vintage cube we're gonna get, I think. So I'm gonna take this Fallen Shinobi. Other options are Great Henge, Wreck Sage, or Eternal Witness, I think. But you know what? We haven't I don't think we've drafted full on Sultai yet, so let's do that. Thought you should you're gonna say you were wrestling. No, see that's that's weird. I mean we wouldn't do that. But we would move stuff into the trunk of the car. Or the of the U-Haul. Volcanic Island, huh? No. No. I kinda like Noble Hierarchy here because it does let us play a turn to Oko. I also like Wretched Confluence a lot. I think I'm gonna go with the Hierarch here. It's two of our colors. Oh my god, is that Watson's face? No, that's his little bottom. Okay. Mike could be one of those mass luchadors. Could be and is. <sighs> Man. After, like, moving stuff for two hours, you're just, like, so starved for for beverage. Oh, I like Pelucranus, actually. Oh, I like Lotus Cobra, too, though. I think Pelucranus is more powerful. The problem with Lotus Cobra is that... Uh, starved for beverage. Yes, thirsty. That's uh that's clearly the writer in me where I want to uh, get more more words in. Um, oh, what up, Dimitri? About to fall asleep. I wanted to wish you luck on your move and remind you that what you do makes other people. Dude, thank you for. I love you, buddy. I'm pretty sure I saw a post from you tonight, and I was gonna respond to it. Maybe that's incorrect. I don't know, but we're gonna take Brazy B. Blake, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, man. As I was saying to everyone else, we are moving tomorrow. Tomorrow, or not, not tomorrow, Sunday. Sunday is the move. Tomorrow we're gonna be packing all day. And then Sunday we're gonna be taking that bad boy up. And now I'm gonna take Hendrel and Harbor, because that's just a good one. Was it about not this time? No. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just, for some reason, maybe I just saw a post of yours. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're a good dude, and I appreciate you. I like Garrick here. I think Garrick's fine. Might be better than Merfolk, Ludi Tutti. Oh, man. So thirsty. Let's just keep chugging. Uh, I like Compulsive Research a lot. I also like Marsh Flats if we get, like, Watery Grave or Overgrown Tomb. It's, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm in for this. About to fall asleep? Oh, man, here we are. We're doing it. This is just a mountain, clearly, because you can just, because it's just red. It's either one of these two. I kind of like Marsh Flats. I think we're going to have enough card advantage. It's like, 
Savannah actually makes Marsh Flats a green source. I think we're just going to take the remove soul, though. Oh, Rex Sage came back? So did Eternal Witness? Oh, that's pretty wild. I'm going to take the Eternal Witness because getting back Oko or like Fallen Shinobi seems good. No respect for the goat? Why are we calling him the goat? Kitchen Finks is definitely not the greatest of all time, that's for sure. I was actually hoping the loot. Oh, wretched confluence, though. I was hoping the looter came back because it's a nice way to get a fallen shinobi out. But boy, there's a wretched confluence that I like. I'm going to take the looter because I think it's. Oh, Kira came back. <sighs> because I think this shows more discipline. <laughs> so, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, let's take the affliction, sure. So right now we have double blue, double blue, double green, double black, triple green. That's good. That's good. Totally reasonable amount of amount of colors in our in our mana values. Four Finks during Shadow More Draft is uh, a little bit excessive. <laughs> Man, I uh, used to play it alongside Dragon Lord Ojitai. I don't think is it, that's is there a combo there? Or is it just they just they're just both blue white cards? I like Vraska. I like Time Warp. I think we're going with Oracle. I like Muldrifter too. If one of these cards comes back, I will be extremely grateful. More like post slacking. So what you're saying is this is after the slacking. So I'm no longer slacking. Well, Resto and Kitchen Finks, that's just, that's just good times. It's a hymn to Torok and Embercole. A zealous conscripts and a natural order. And now, yeah, now you're doing your job. <laughs> oh, gosh, Christopher. Christopher, sometimes you're too much, but then also never enough. I think we just take the him to Torak. I wish I could take Emrakul or natural order, but we're neither of those things. I'm going to take him here. And I'm really going to hope that I find some good fixing. I don't know how good of the fixing is in this queue. I feel like I'm never really satisfied with my fixing. I will take this because we just passed on time warp. See, Glacial and Shambling. But we do have a Grave Titan and a Karn Liberated here. I think I like Karn better than Gravy T. Especially if we're doing some ramming. That's what every woman I've dated has said, which is why I'm alone on a Friday night with this pint of Punchline Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's called Punchline makes me think of, like, Fruit Punch. Like, it's a... Like it's a fruity ice cream. I don't think it is. No, 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 no. Marsh flats, probably still no. No, no, I guess. That was a pretty rough pack. Again, like we haven't seen any fixing for our three colors. I'll take a rampant growth. There it is. There's the watery grave that we're looking for. Oh, Abrupt Decay. Also, Bloodline Keeper has been just fine for me. Totally, totally reasonable. Hmm. A comedic duo of browned butter bourbon and almond ice cream with roasted almonds and chunks of cherries. That sounds actually really good. I love any ice cream with chunks of cherries. I'm going to take the Abrupt. No, uh, actually, it was going to make me take Bloodline Keeper, so maybe I'll just take Bloodline Keeper. And we'll just pretend... Oh, Muldrifter came back. <laughs> Emrakul came back? I'm almost tempted to take the Emrakul just because... Who knows? Tooth and Nail, maybe? Whatever. It does feel like the fixing is for white. We've seen like Stirring Wildwood, Shambling Vent, Marsh Flats. Also, this is like 26 ounces and I'm almost done. And I just filled it before we started. It's funny how much I drink in a day. 
I don't realize it, but when I fill this like five times a day, it's like 130 ounces. And hey, Miracle come back. Just because who knows? It's such a good cube choice. It's such a cube choice. Yeah, I agree. I'm like, you know what? You should take that because who knows? Anything could happen. I do like Shark Typhoon. Hey, look at that. Another one. I'm not taking Deranged Terminal Murmuring Mystic here. I'd rather just have the fixing in case that Vindicate comes back. I don't think that's possible, but... Same reason. Gideon. It's funny because I feel like our mana base is Abzan, but our deck is Sultai. <laughs> it's just something extremely comical about a last pick white black land. Come on, buddy. Ooh, what a verdant catacomb. Oh, man, dude. Coma's like just a banana banger. Wow. I think we want the coma. I think I don't think we're a deck that taps out. And then we can take that. I don't think there is still time to cut blue. I really, really don't think that's a thing. Like, okay, let's see what happens if we do that. So we lose nine cards, so we have ten playables in pack three. I don't think that's a thing yet. I mean, if Mystic Confluence or Verdant Catacombs comes back, I will be immensely grateful. But for now, we're taking Creeping Tar Pit. That is what we need. That's what Papa likes to see. So now we have Water Grave, Tar Pit, Hinterland, and Marsh Flats. Marsh Flats being a watery grave. Consecrated Sphinx. Mm-hmm, <sighs> mm-hmm. Mm I mean, Shark Typhoon, let's say it's like a four drop, right? I think our top end looks amazing right now. Consecrated Sphinx, Coma, and Karn are all very good. Uh, end game jabronis. I also really like Obnixilis. Is it worth taking over a Dark Slick Shores? This is only 21 playables, so I think so. Euro. I'm going to take Euro. Look, and now we just have the... Uh, the band standard package. So that's good. I did see a tooth and nail. I don't know if I want to go tooth and nail with uh, with only Emrakul. I guess what if you tooth and nail for Emrakul Coma or you just win, right? This is 23 and I think I'm okay with this 23. I would love to see some more lands. The other thing is I just don't think I have enough ramp in this deck for a nine mana card is really what I was what I was thinking. Like seven, we have two seven drops, and that's kind of my limit. I'm assuming Alvaron's Epiphany will cost six. That far seek would be nice if it tables. I think Arcane Artisan is actually kind of sweet here, but I think we're just gonna take Crater Hoof for the hell of it. I'm gonna take Botanical Sanctum here. A bit squicky? I don't even know what that means. I mean, we have four double black cards, actually. 
I could see taking out malicious affliction for like abrupt decay, but we didn't take abrupt decay, so I can't do that actually. Hmm. Actually, search for tomorrow seems great here. Let's take a search for tomorrow. Green Sun gets Coma, Oracle, Pelucranos, Eternal Witness, Euro. I actually don't hate Green Sun. I think Control Magic might be better in the Vinta in the Legacy Cube, though. Yep, you're a playable card. Oh, Farseek came back. Wow, that was a lot of playable cards in the last four cards. I'm going to take out Remove Soul. I don't think we're going to be keeping up Counterspell Mana. Oh, the Tooth and Nail came back. It's actually kind of funny. Let's take Rootbound Crag. All right, what are we doing here? I don't think I care about Shark Typhoon. I don't really care about Kira that much, to be quite honest. Are we targeting any of our own creatures? I would cut Affliction, but we actually don't have that much removal outside of Affliction. We have like Omnixless and Control Magic, and that's pretty much it. We could side into like Crater Hoof, Tooth and Nail, Emrakul, Coma package. That's actually not terrible. Cut the champion. I do like that we have Rampant Growth, Farseek, and Euro. Plus, I think with Rampant Growth, Farseek, Search for Tomorrow, I think Affliction is actually fine. I feel like Kira is actually pretty decent, comically enough. Maybe Garrick is, is not great? I don't know. Garrick seems fine. Bloodline Keeper? Let's cut the Bloodline Keeper. Yeah, we have one, two, th and three. We only have, actually we only have three lands that breeze black. Lands that we're going to be playing. I mean, I might just cut Liliana. When are you and Mike doing a hot tub stream? Literally never. Lit literally never. Um, so the thing is, I'm pretty sure most of our mana is going to be green. I think Garrick's actually going to be pretty fine. How dare you, Ophaloaf. Okay, so... Four, five, six... Huh, three... Four, five, six, and then five, eight, nine, ten. Three, seven, five, six, seven. Missing any lands? I thought our lands are better than this, but I guess not. Oh well. I actually don't care about Horizon Canopy. Everyone, I know a lot of people would play it, but. I just don't think the damage every time you tap it is worth it. Like, if you could tap it for a colorless and not have to take damage, well, I mean, it'd be fantastic, obviously. It would just be like a pain land at that point that it'd just be a strictly better pain land. All right, let's see how terrible our mana base is. If we go 0-3, I'm going to try really hard not to be surprised. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I brought it on myself, really. Better. I mean, this hand's actually pretty reasonable. I do think we're playing against Mono Red now. Basic Mountain to Goblin Guido. This could help. Oh, Watery Grave. Yeah, I like that.
kind of want a two drop here. Yeah, this could help in referring to a goblin guide. Well, buddy, I don't think you understand how this works. Oof, look at that. This also shuffles in our fallen shinobi for all the good that does. Okay, that's three life. <sighs> so I think we actually go, maybe it might actually be Euro into Garrick. As long as we hit one more green source by then. Okay. Looter Ilkor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Put him on the stack. Put put him on the stack. Play to land, right? Yeah, okay. Just checking. Just checking. You're going away too, fat boy. Fat boy. Way till. Literal Core is actually a pretty sweet combo with Euro because you can pitch cards and escape him quicker. Rift Bolt. So we're taking four. 11 in the next two turns. Don't like that. We can play Oko in game three. So then we only take eight. Puts us to six. Uh oh. And they're going to play something else. Okay, well, that's the thing, I guess. Hmm. Well, we can control magic Pia, which also lets us block the goblin guide. Let's do that. So they shoot Pia, we take five instead. I only have three cards in hand. What up, not the plague? What if you were the plague? Who knew? Hmm. Rampant growth, but I'm, we're not going to draw it because we have a search for tomorrow coming loose. I don't know if any of these cards are going to do it. We've just drawn nothing on board that contests these guys, which is kind of frustrating to be quite honest. All right, let's get a third green here. That would be great if I could actually do something here. So we get to go to eight, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on board. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. Uh. 
Okay, so let's bring in the remove soul. Sort by mana value. Let's bring in Liliana as well. Take out the Karn. Take out the Alrun's Epiphany. Those are a bit expensive. Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs> I mean, I'll, fuck, I'll still keep it. It's still on track to play in Oko. Any one black lets us play Pelucranos, so. Watery Grave would be just phenomenal. Mama Zuda baby loves fire drink crusader. Oh boy. Maybe we should cut that guy too. I don't know. I mean, if we don't draw land here, then we have no chance anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Land. Okay. Well, we're alive. Did you make a mess down there? Now they're going for going for Oko, so that's good for us. <laughs> okay. So Oko prevented seven damage and got us a food token. That's not bad for three mana. Come on, Black Source. That doesn't enter play tapped. I'm just gonna do this now because they could have Skullcrack or some other card that like says I can't gain a life, so. <sighs> yep, just feel like we're dead here. <laughs> I mean, it's really funny that we don't hit a fourth land in the deck with Farseek, Search for Tomorrow, Rampant Growth, and Noble Hierarch, but hey, what do I know? Maybe that's not enough. Nice to see your luck hasn't changed. Steven, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, good. Man, where's my, my kingdom for a friggin' languish? I think we just have to play this guy. Oracle's cool and all, but... The land doesn't do anything for us this turn, and being able to block one of these guys is just better. Funny thing is, if they can steal this guy, they're we're just dead. <laughs> they have like an act of treason. <laughs> there we go. Okie dokie. Literally one card in the cube that does that and they had it. Okie doke. <sighs> Sounds good. We 
seem like you can't write you can't you can't make this shit up you know oh god <laughs> if they're able to steal our pelucranos we're dead uh zealous conscripts and steal your pelucranos okay buddy you got it you got it <sighs> it's good times. Never, never, never a dull moment. I mean, to be fair, I already knew my mana base was rough. This hand is fantastic. Holy smokes. Turn one noble, turn two far seek into watery grave. Oh, we can actually noble into watery grave and also play creeping tar pit. Hunter, stop. He did, he's doing big licks. You know, I'm a big fan of turn three Obnixilis. So let's see if we can get that down. Hopefully they play a creature that we can kill. That's a coalition milk. Hunter, stop. He's like, fine, I'll just leave. And he leaves the room. Oh yeah, Abi Rizavi. I'll draw a card. I'll lose life. They just cracked that at the end of the turn, I assume. One, two, we got six mana here, huh? I kind of just want to... Miscalc. Two, three, I guess we're attacking with the Noble Hierarch. Nah, if they have like Resto, it's not worth it. Like, next turn we have both of these to play. This is where they play Elspeth Sun's Champion. You guys ready? Y'all ready for this? Yeah, that's close. It's very close. Huh, they plussed instead of getting rid of Obnixilis. I'm fascinated. Do we Karn kill Teferi? My only concern is that they could counter this. They can't counter this. <sighs> okay, that's good too, I guess. One, two, three, four. Let's go green. I don't think there's a way they can steal our Obnixilis in these colors. I hope they try to counter it. I always love it when they try to counter the can't be countered spells. It makes me so happy. They can tuck this, but I don't think that's super impressive. Sure. I mean, we could turn off Teferi for sure, but then they're then they're free to kill this with something else. But I think that's fine. Like the thing is, if they have a Day of Judgment, all their creatures are dying, and like they're losing the resto, and everything else would be like Oblivion Ring, Banishing Light, etc. So.
sure. That is fine. Dig for that answer. Seems good. They have compulsive in two other cards. It's actually fine. So we'll have eight mana next turn. We can Muldrifter and then Oko. But if they have this out, Muldrifter is pretty bad. So test. <laughs> Pass the test. I don't know. I'm not, it's not on me, man. Yeah, yeah, the blue eight and cube isn't gonna play any river that struck with cards, but I agree. And since they just played resto the turn before, like if they want to get rid of this, they are going to have to get rid of their own resto as well, so. Oh, wow. That's super weird, man. Yikes. I love when people join uh, a stream literally to talk about your personal life from over half a decade ago. It's super cringe. Oh, man. Move on from situations you don't know details about. Aw. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mana. So we can Karn. I mean, this is... Hmm. Interesting. Okie dokie. Well, that's that'll do, pig. <laughs> internet for sure. Like internet, like it's so weird, man. Like it's so weird that like you have nothing better to do with your life. Like that's it, is to just be like negative towards people. Like that's so weird. Yeah, I don't, I mean, like, we saw, like, Teferi and Resto and Narset, and that's pretty much all we saw, so. What are you gonna do? Well, our sideboards, actually, <laughs> never mind, Duress is great here. What am I talking about? And let's cut the control magic. I don't know what they have for control magic, but should be fine. Man, I'm going to keep this one green in this hand is fire. Sure, you got it. <laughs> oh, good times, man. Good times. Oh, what is it? What is it? So good. So good at this game. He never didn't have it. I mean, you know, considering the quality of our mana base, like, it's the least we could do. Let's go rampant growth. So we have blue, blue, black, black, green, green. Search can get something. Let's get another blue that's not attached to a black source. Negating a rampant growth, man, that's bold. Oh, good. 
It's your old friend Narset. Faith's fetters. Okay. Well, got a free land here. Uh, let's get a forest because if we draw Garrick, I want to have a million forests. Ugh, oh, dang it. Never lucky. Also, Faith's Fettering on, on a Oracle of Moldiah is a, not the greatest. Hearthstone has more viewers than hot tub streams. To the surprise of many. Conclave Tribunal. I mean, do I just get to slam a uh, Karn and then exile the Tribunal? That seems like what I get to do. And then if they face fetters this, we just get to borrow the Karn? No. What? <laughs> they exiled a Cryptic Command to do it, though. Eh, it's not terrible. I don't understand how all half the genre. Well, like, what? What specifically do you not? What's uh, what's eluding you? Ow. Ow. One, two, three, four. We'll play Paluki, and then we get to keep Brazen Borrower up. We do have Ewit for the Karn. They have four cards though, so I'm not there yet. I'd rather them use. Faith's fetters first. Oblivion ring. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I'm honestly almost tempted to just play Brazen Borrower to get rid of the Narset. I don't get the complaint about hot tub streams. Like these people know porno exists, right? Like if you're losing viewers to hot tub streams just because the people are attractive, there's other stuff they can watch before they get to you, right? Like hot tub streams is not the barrier that's preventing your views. <laughs> oh man. I think pretty much anything should be on Twitch. I don't think Twitch should be solely a video game channel. Like that doesn't, there's no reason for that. But like the other channels don't really hurt anything. You know what I mean? Like, if you're here to watch them, you're watching them. If you're not, then you're not. But, like, I don't really want to give them... Huh. I'm just going to cast the Brazy Bee. <laughs> oh, my God. We've made such good decisions in our life. Oh, boy. Attack your face. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's keep up Eternal Witness. Man. Two lands, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so exciting. So we know they don't have that. That's good. Also, if they do face fetters this next turn, we can brazen borrow the face fetters and get another hit in. So bouncing brazen borrower is just chef's kiss, man. If people are leaving your stream to watch a girl in a bikini, are they ever truly your viewers to begin with? I mean, like, yes. Like, that's the thing, right? Like, like if your content 
can't compete with the, with a girl in a bikini, then like, buddy, the internet is not the place for you. Well, this is nice. Um, Pelucranos is a bigger threat, but Oracle does more. You got it. Oh, look who it is. It's your boy. We're going to kill the Narset because I don't want to get like stuck in a situation where I can't draw cards. Well, let's be honest. I want to see Owen Rath, but listen to Frank. Almost like he's narrating. Yeah, that's really... I should just be hired to narrate the hot tub streams, and then it's really the best of both worlds. Oh, for sure. If they need to work on the algorithm where, like, it's it's pr it's promoting them to you as something you might enjoy based on, like, your previous views, then it's like, well, not so much. think you're misunderstanding fractured identity that's very good i'm sorry this was really this was really no good because now we get to play this in response and bounce the car that doesn't exist wow that's insane that was very good for us and now we just get fallen Shinobi to bounce back Eternal Witness. Oh, please. Not going to play lands yet. Oop. Mm. I guess we got to do a black, right? So. Oh, boy. Yeah, you definitely should have got rid of like Oracle that turn instead of making me yeah because you like you knew i had this in hand because i bounced it to the to the guy uh okay so another land so we get to play their land we get to play our land we get to play search for Ascanta. and really i don't care about getting either of these back with eternal witness so we're just gonna leave that like that we know they still have face fetters in hand so being able to draw two next turn with a Muldrifter is kind of nice. They do have five cards in hand. We know one of them. Man, my kingdom for a creeping tar pit here. That's actually fine. <laughs> uh, one. No, let's go to their end step. Like you do. One, two, three, this guy. Uh, no, let's keep Muldrifter. Him to Torok, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Well, this is not bad because I don't care about Noble Hierarch being on top. Oko. Him to Torok, you. Green, blue, green, Eternal Witness. Pitch your, <laughs> that'll do. That will do. Apparently getting rid of your entire hand. Zombub, I can see that point, actually. That's a decent point. I think I was too focused on making sure you always get the value out of the land from their deck. But yeah, if we draw an extra land, that's worse than missing a free land from them. I, I agree with that, yeah. 
I would much rather get closer to another live draw than another land for us. So good call, buddy. Dimitri, have a good night, buddy. Gotta hit the hay. We'll catch the rest during my 5 a.m. cereal session. Sounds good. Sounds, sounds good. Instead, you just him their last four. Yeah, I mean, like, I figured you got four cards. I can cast this twice. Like, remember the time Elk Tears almost got banned from the channel for trolling under a fake account? I do. And it, and it happened multiple times. Yeah, Elk Tears is, uh, he's a character for sure. Let's join this match i will play first oh this hand looks great too geez two black for malicious affliction we can outrun's epiphany on turn two. Oh, we can actually outrun and creeping tarp geez man like the now the man is working out great so now we can go foretell this guy creeping tarp it Also, Obnixilus into Alrun's Epiphany. Maybe we get an emblem. Probably just going to bounce that. <laughs> or no, we're going to play that. Well, Biscuits. It's not ideal. I hope we, we really need one land under that because otherwise we're really stagnant. Is it wrong to make your dating profile pick a sack of cash? Probably not. You know, I think that's, I think you're doing fine. Come on, land. Two lands if you're lucky. One land. Two lands. Oh, man, that's phenomenal. One, two, three, four, five. Draw a card, lose a life. Get in there for three. Next turn we can, I think we're gonna wait one turn because you can put Ob up to seven and then next turn put Ob up to eight, Epiphany, Ultimate. And that's a pretty, that's a pretty fast clock. I mean, they have four cards. It also presumes they're gonna do nothing, which I don't think is the case. Yeah, that's a good point. Just make sure with your sack of cash, there's also a gun so that people know what you're about. They're like, oh, this this is this guy's clearly an American. Angrath, sack of planeswalker. Okie dokie. This can hit artifact creatures, right? Yes, perfect. Ooh, control magic. Huh. Isn't that something? So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Time to just play Pelucranos here. Eh, I think I have Caracas. They just get to bounce it. I think this is a good amount of damage. We're dealing three from the Oracle. Puts them to 11. Then we get to attack for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Puts them to four. A lot of lands as well. I don't actually think we play Pelucranos because if we do, we can't play Brazen Borrower 
And if they wrath the board, they can also just bounce it with Caracas as well. So I don't think it does much here, but like we can, if they wrath the board, we can go end of turn Brazen Bar and still kill them with Tar Pit and Brazy. <sighs> I don't think it's hypocrisy to wear a bikini, but also, uh, not want lewd comments. I don't think that's hypocrisy. I think that's just wanting to be treated like a human being. Um, are they dead here? Maybe. Oh, okay. That'll do, pig. All right, our deck is coming through despite our sideboard. I kind of like Liliana here instead of, like, control magic. We didn't see many creatures. And everything else seems good. What do we use this on? Golos. Golos. I guess stealing a Golos is pretty decent. <sighs> Kira seems like it's going to keep being good, but we just never draw the Kira. Hmm. What do you do when your whole deck seems pretty decent? <laughs> Probably take out Pelucranos, and then we'll just run it like this. I mean, Pelucranos is one of our only legendary creatures. That gets hit by Caracas. This hand seems good. We do need black sources. Oh yeah, they do have Caracas. I mean, like if we take Golos, it's not good. Yeah, sure. But they might have other creatures. And they're almost always going to get Caracas with, uh, with Golos. Because it protects Golos. You also, you also called it Crankus, which is just pretty funny. I'm going to play Forest here. I want to be able to play Brazen Borrower. If we play Swamp, this isn't going to come into play it's untapped. Oh, all right. Let's, let's play towards that now. Like, if we can go turn three, bounce, turn four, Liliana, turn five, Garrick, turn six, Consecrated, we are living it up oof that's good yep that's unfortunate yeah don't like that oh it's in the blue Just playing this because you want to get closer to these things. And like I don't need another five drop when our hand does five drop, six drop. Oof. God, they're just living the dream. Holy shit. Flooded fabled on top. Seems good. Huh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so good, dude. <laughs> wow, this game has been phenomenal for them. Let me guess. Yep, now they get to kill Oko. <sighs> boy. Boy, oh boy. Uh, 
I don't see us winning this game, my 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 dudes. <laughs> Best mechanic. <laughs> and then in response, I will say your name. So not. I mean, if the extent of your temporal mastery turn is literally just attacking Oko, I guess that's not the worst. It's very funny that we can't play this because we don't have two black. We can't play this because we don't have three green. We can't play this because it's six. So I guess we're just stuck playing Euro here. These have not been the best Temporal Mastery turns. <laughs> Didn't you shuffle that guy away? Uh, one, two, three. And yeah, we're just going to Euro. Yes. Three, this guy. Far seek. Thankfully, we can still get watery grave, but we cannot get a green source here. But we can escape Euro next turn, which is kind of cool. One, two, three, four. We can actually escape Euro and play Liliana. So, not the worst. This may this game two we won game one. Interesting that they just keep activating the creeping tar pit, and they have no blue up. So I know whatever we take is not getting countered. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five. Packing and moving is exhausting. We, we did some packing tonight. We did about two hours, and then uh, the rest of it has to be done tomorrow. Uh, no. Kill your Florahedron. All right. Well, if they can kill Euro, then we lose our Liliana. If they can't kill Euro, we get to keep Liliana, which is pretty... Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, boy. Yeah. I mean, they're still using all their turns to just kill our Planeswalkers, which is kind of fine. Train the dogs to pack sounds brilliant. They're so tiny, though. Two of them are so tiny. Okay, they have one card in hand. Yeah, I'm actually feeling okay about this. One, two, three, four, five. Ob. And nothing else. Pretty sure we just consecrated Sphinx here. <laughs> like... I feel like they're running out of answers. And we get to at least draw two here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's do it. Oh boy. Next turn, Kira into Eternal Witness, getting back like Liliana maybe? This is great for us. I feel like we're way ahead right now if they're just attacking with Creeping Tar Pit. Dogs are natural backers. Is that true? Huh. Is that right? Is that right about dogs being natural packers, huh? Let's play Kira. Let's protect our things. Let's go in here with this. And as much as it pains me, I want it. I want it back. <laughs> yep, they're going to scry. Oh man. All right, let's let's hit it. Is this Morari's wake? What? Oh baby. Oh, that's a million mana. 
now this is a 3-3? Three, three? Sweet. So sweet. Hmm. They could also be collector packs as well, don't forget. 2-1 with the Sultai deck with the not-so-great mana. Feels pretty good, dude. Feels pretty good. There was no next, but there was no next turn. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Hopefully you guys will subscribe or follow on Twitch. It's a great way to support the channel. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube as well. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.